Second type of dimension keys is circuit key. As discussed in previous lecture, it's not recommended at all to use system or natural keys as your primary key for dimension tables. So circuit key comes to solve this problem. Circuit keys are auto-generated incremental sequence, which help us to uniquely identify each record in our dimension table. For example, in this dimension table, which is a customer dimension table, we have a unique key for each record. So whenever we insert a new record in this dimension table, it will get a new circuit key value. And this is very important. As we discussed before, we need primary key or we need to identify uniquely each record in a dimension table. So we can link between fact table and dimension table. And also it's a very important in a slowly changing dimensions. And we will discuss this type of dimension in coming lectures. Now let's review some properties of circuit key. Circuit key is a separate totally from source system natural key. Normally it will be a database integer sequence starting from one. Each record inserted into a dimension table will have a new value or a new circuit key. It's totally under control of data warehouse and it's controlled and generated by ETL process. Integer circuit key will enhance performance for sure because from database perspective, indexing an integer key is much better and it will enhance performance much better than indexing a string key or a mixed characters and numbers keys. As we saw in previous lecture, some natural keys or some source system keys may become as a mixed between characters and numbers, and this for sure will not be the optimal solution to enhance performance. So integer sequence keys from database perspective will help us to make much better indexing, and of course it will help in performance. So circuit key is a recommended solution to use it as a primary key for our dimension tables, and as we can see, it resolves all problems we discussed before in systems or natural keys.